Doctor's Advocate. And uh, that album to me is my best album for me. The game released The Doctor's Advocate on November 14, 2006, and the album isn't usually mentioned as much as his standout debut, the documentary which was released in January of the previous year. The Doctor's Advocate was a challenge to make in itself, and the game was limited in resources due to his fallout with 50 Cent and being at odds with Interscope at the time. His back was literally against the wall, and he had no resources. Everyone was counting him out, and no one believed in him. The concept for the doctor's advocate is payback. For all the that didn't think I could do it, for all the that said that I, that I wasn't gonna be able to do it without Dr. Dre, for all the that said 50 killed my career, for all the that just hate me individual, I hate you too. And you know, and this is it. This is, this is, this is for all the this is it right here. For all the that don't know how to swallow pills, when the doctor's advocate drops, it's medicine. And you're going to take it if I got to force feed it to you. If I got to put the spoon in your mouth and shove the pill down your throat. That's what this album is to me, to the world, to hip hop, to my fans. When analyzing the lyrics throughout the album and the interviews he's done about the album, you'll notice the mention of Dr. Dre so much and their relationship and how it was tested during that time. On the first song of the album, Looking At You, Game Raps... Finish my second LP without a Dr. Dre track. The interesting thing is that Game had stated Dre was initially involved. In fact, in November of 2005, Game did an interview with MTV revealing the title of the album and saying Dr. Dre was going to be involved. It's called The Doctor's Advocate. It means Dr. Dre's the man. What he says goes. He's got the formula and we gonna make it happen. Dr. Dre makes good music. Eminem, 50 Cent, myself, we all sell records. We're all protégés of Dr. Dre. So me and 50's beef stays outside and we don't bring it in the house. See, the, the thing about that, man, is you got to understand that you got to understand the definition of the title. The title is called The Doctor's Advocate because, first of all, we'll cut it in half, man, and just say, you know, the doctor, for, you know, for instance. I studied under Dre for the last five years, man. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of praise that goes to that man for, you know, to, I, I was fresh out the coma maybe four months and I had to deal with Dr. Dre. So... Dr. Dre is sort of, you know, responsible, you know what I'm saying, not even sort of, he is responsible for my existence in hip hop and I will forever praise that man, you know, first and foremost for what he did and me being a fan of him and N.W.A. and his chronic albums with Snoop and Eminem and all, even 50 Cent in, his early, in the early stages, all those guys, so I always pay homage to the doc. And then when I became a pupil, man, and, and, and you know, one of, one of the Pac, Snoop, Eminem and 50 Cent, you know what I'm saying, and myself, Dre gave, you know, Dre created that and gave me everything that I now have, I feel like, in a sense. So to me, Dre is a hip-hop god and saved my life. So, you know, that's where paying homage to the doctor goes in the title. Now, the second half of that would be, you know, the act of advocating. And if you look up advocate in the dictionary, it's going to tell you to speak on behalf of something, someone, or someplace. And you know what I'm saying? So I'm on this album, I'm advocating for the doctor. All the things that you wanted to hear Dr. Dre say the last five to seven years because he puts out albums not so often. All the things that you, you want to hear from the West Coast that you can't get because, you know, the other MCs are not, you know what I'm saying, as lyrically, you know, committed as I am. All of the things that you want to know about Compton that I didn't tell you on the first album i'm gonna advocate to you and every other person that listens to my music when the album drops and so there you got the title doctor's advocate you know what i'm saying and if you want to go deeper than that then i'll break it down brother okay, okay. <laughs> The Doctor's Advocate being the game's second album, he was also facing the sophomore slump. So while listening to the album, you hear a more seasoned MC, but also one that has endured a lot. At the end of the second song, The Shit, Game says, everybody wants to know what the fuck is going on. And my sign to Aftermath, Interscope, what's up with Geffen? I'ma just say it like this. One day I walked in the motherfucking house and all my shit was gone. On the lead single, One Blood, Game raps, The math gon' drop. And 50 ain't rocking with them no more. It's okay, I get it popping. And uh, I recorded the whole album. I already know I had a fucking classic. And the last song I recorded on it was uh, One Blood. This random fucking kid came in the studio. He played 30 beats. All them shits was, I don't give a fuck if you're watching. Like, I didn't like none of them motherfuckers. And One Blood was like the second to last or the last one. And that motherfucker came on and it was just like... And I was like, yeah, this is me. This, this is how I say fuck 50, fuck Dre, fuck uh, everybody. Like, fuck Interscope, fuck Eminem. Like, this is going to be my payback. You know what I'm saying? 
And uh, and I was just mad. It was it was almost like fucking J. Cole's like middle child. You know what I'm saying? I was just mad as fuck. And uh, so I got on that motherfucker and you know, I'm the doctor's advocate. Nigga, Dre shot you. But I was speaking about myself. Like Dre shot me, cause he like kinda like went away from game. And that shit like, you know, at that time, man, I had really I grew up to Dre. You know Dre's from Compton, so I felt uh I, you know, I was hurt by like the distance. And uh so yeah, I went in, man. Game felt betrayed by Dr. Dre and was even on some fuck Dre type of shit, but it came from a place of hurt. But not only was Game going through so much professionally, he was going through so much personally. Fame and fortune is not something that is easy for anyone to deal with, especially someone that is young coming from a background of living in the hood where lots of people barely ever leave their hood. At this time, Game had a falling out with his brother and his friends, and he spoke about this on the track one night. Couldn't be a real homeboy to save your life. I should took Dr. Dre's advice. But wait, Panda, I thought you said that Dre was initially involved with this project. What happened? There are actual songs that were produced by Dre for this album that you can find on YouTube, but they were never released with the album. Um, the, the tracks that Dre, I was being a manish ass, like, Aftermath was like a family mm -hmm. or a household and Dre was like the dad, you know what I'm saying? And so I put those songs on the internet myself, the ones that Dre did, because mm -hmm. I didn't want him to have any involvement in the album. I was pissed off him mm -hmm. for uh what i doing what i felt like was choosing 50 side mm -hmm. and uh but i mean financially uh interscope aftermath as a structure i would have done what dre did i mean 50 was making mm -hmm. he was the bulk of the money and also as a business like i mean he he was contracted to you know right. jimmy Iovine and interscope as well so he mm -hmm. couldn't jump out the window mm -hmm. uh for his little homie he considered a talented artist that he signed and now i understand that but i didn't then so i didn't want dre to have anything um to do with my album i didn't want interscope to have nothing to do with my mm -hmm. album so they put me on geffen i recorded the doctor's advocate in total and brought it back and turned it in. And as soon as Jimmy Iovine heard One Blood, he started slobbing on the knob because <laughs> niggas knew that I could stand alone and right. we put One Blood out and that shit erased everything that anybody was talking about. Any doubt, any mm -hmm. he needs Dre, he needs 50 mm -hmm. and all of that. And for that reason, Doctor's Advocate, Till, Till Born to Rap has been my favorite, uh, mm -hmm. favorite album. When asked years later after the release what happened with Dre's involvement on the album, Game responded. Um, because he didn't want to be. He was, uh, he sided with 50 for uh, business purposes. He had to. Um, 50 was signed to Aftermath and, uh, and Shady. Uh, Eminem signed at Aftermath and is Shady. And Dre and everybody signed to Jimmy Iovine. And at that time, like, there wasn't nobody bigger than Eminem or fucking um, 50 uh, except like Nelly or some shit or, you know, Jay Z. Um, so, of course, um, at that time, I didn't understand it. I understand now that, uh, like, a smart man would pick, you know, the breadwinner. And so everybody kind of sided with 50. The thing is, with Game, you kind of have to take what he says with a grain of salt because the narrative changes or certain details get exaggerated. As you can see in one clip, he says Dre didn't want to be involved. But the other clip, he said he didn't want Dre to be involved. Either way, it shows his up and down relationship with Dre and how they were tied to this album. There have also been reports that 50 50 was upset with Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine because they were helping game or promoting something that was anti 50 cent, which also added pressure to Dre not to be involved with the project. You're the same guy who said F Jimmy Iovine. Yeah, and this is, let me explain this to you. <laughs> because Jimmy's regimen of supporting things when they're actually profitable mm -hmm. said that was okay to me. Mm. Like it's okay for game to say F 50 as long as it can turn a profit. Right. Mm. So if you've given me that example, then it's fine for me to do it. Unless it's, we, we're saying that I don't matter. Right. And if that's the case, then I don't want to do business with someone who doesn't respect me. So we need to resolve that relationship as soon as possible. And even though that 50 Cent song and interview came out way after the Doctor's Advocate had been released, it does a really good job encompassing how 50 really felt behind the scenes at that time.
The song titled after the album, Doctor's Advocate, is my favorite song off the album. The game delivers two emotional verses addressed to Dre talking about their relationship and apologizing for going against what he promised Dre. Dre had previously sat Game down and asked him to not respond to 50 so things may eventually blow over and Game had promised him he wouldn't but he ended up not keeping his word and that's when Dre cut Game off and decided to not be involved with the album and that's why on the song you hear Game saying that he betrayed Dr. Dre. <laughs> If you know the game story, then you know he had a tough upbringing and spent time in foster care and has dealt with a lot of abandonment issues, which I honestly still believe he deals with till this day. So when Dre cut him off and didn't participate in the album, it was that abandonment for him again. When everyone turned their backs on me, all the things that I had went through in the early stages, my childhood, teenage years, all that came back, plus this new heavy weight of not being wanted on a label, having no help or no resources to really create, produce, and finish my next project. And I start to realize that this loneliness, this emptiness that I was feeling, I needed to share. So I wrote, I wrote one long verse that ended with it's aftermath and ain't nothing after that when i finished that song i'm stood and after that song the other songs came together like a puzzle game has appeared to struggle and go back and forth about how he feels about this situation one moment he seems to be okay with dre's absence and then the other he seems to have wished dre was a part of it the worst thing that happened to me this year would have probably been um, 50's influence on, um, you know, Dr. Dre not being a part of this album. You know, when he, when he said it, I didn't see it happening, but then when it happened, I kind of felt a little bad, you know what I'm saying? I fell back into a corner like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like I didn't have no friends, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I think it's almost how Kobe felt when Shaq left, except Kobe didn't speak to real. You know what I'm saying? You know that he that know goddamn well when Shaq left, that wanted to cry, hold on, pull your pants off, don't go. I think the only thing missing is, um, or the only two things missing is that, you know, I don't have, I don't have a Dre beat on this album. And I figured out that at the end of the day, it wasn't the Dre beats that made me the MC I am today. Not to take away from anything that Dre does, because Dre, I think that Dre is by far the best producer in hip hop history. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's also the man that, you know, took me out of a bad situation in Compton and, and you know, groomed me to be one of the elite MCs or, or, you know, molded me to be who I am today. This album, you look at the executive producer credits and it's me, which is a step up for me in itself. You know what I'm saying? I don't need, you know, I don't need Dre to look over me and watch me so closely in creating my music. It was clear there was a lot of turmoil throughout the recording process of the album and also before and after the album was done. Game seems to have difficulty processing his emotions not just about the album but where his relationship with Dre stood he goes through the motions of being sad mad grateful bitter he was going through it all and it's like when when Dre's in your life and he's trying to help you with something he's in your life and he's trying to help once he cuts that light switch off you're gone and he lives in the dark from there, at least in the presence of you. And I think that um, that's what happened. We never tried to work anything out because I never knew it was a problem. But every time I would walk out the studio, I wouldn't feel the same warmth. I didn't have that feeling that I had in the beginning, the early stages of my career when, when recording the documentary. I felt there was something missing that there was love lost and that I was abandoned and um I don't blame Dre because I don't blame anybody for anything because we have to keep ourselves together and to make sure we're all right before we can reach out and help or touch anybody else so I understood Dre's motive for cutting me off or not fucking with me and or, or 
whatever it was that he was doing. I just know that that relationship dissolved and it was no more. And I needed no explanation or no excuse for it because it's okay to be who you are and do the things that you think are gonna better you. And if, if that thing was not to help game at that point in time, then game gotta help itself. I couldn't find the audio for this, but all hip hop wrote an article about it. On September 29, 2006, Game did an interview with Angie Martinez on Hot 97 and extended an olive branch to 50 Cent saying, I want to just talk and just see where our heads are and see if maybe we can come to an even playing field respectfully to each other. I want to see if we can figure it out as grown ups. He also went on to address the peace treaty they had that was more of a photo op saying, we weren't ready to do that. You can't force us to do anything. I don't think that either of us were ready to get on that stage. We were just coerced into that situation. When touching on Dre's involvement on The Doctor's Advocate, Game stated, Dre is not on the album. No Dre involvement on this album. If you're looking to buy my album just because Dre did a beat or two, leave it on the shelf. This album is executive produced by The Game. Dre took me from the hood and gave me an opportunity, so I'm always going to pay him that respect. Game seemed to have misunderstood relationships in the industry and who was a true friend and who was just there for business and how the politics in the industry works. On the song Doctor's Advocate, Game mentioned, remember when we got drunk to do start from scratch? I told you you was like a father to me. I meant that. So when Dre didn't choose Game's side, he felt betrayed and abandoned. I hated everybody and everything that had anything to do with 50, Interscope, and rap. It was me time, and I just wanted my people that was riding with me and fucking with me to, to ride with me. And everybody that I thought that was did, mm -hmm. except uh, Dr. Dre. Um, and, and, and again, he had his reasons. And, and, you know, to let you know, I thought, like, I thought hip-hop was something totally different than what it was. You know what I'm saying? I thought, like, when niggas sign you, that, like, it's a camaraderie and it's a brotherhood and, and it's like, uh, you know, bad boy or it's like a Rockefeller. I, I Like, when you're 25 years old, you're not thinking paperwork and you're not thinking business and you're not thinking bold black print. You're just thinking, like, I'm Aftermath and we got these chains on and I'm G-Unit and we supposed to be a family, but it wasn't like that. It was all business for them. And it should have been all business for me. I just didn't have nobody to tell me at 25 years old that that was the way it went. If I, if I had known... I would have not been as violent as I was. I would have had an understanding because um, that's one thing about me. When I get an understanding about something, I'm good with it. You know what I'm saying? As long as it's been communicated that this is how it is and I can't, you know, I'm not, I'm not mad. It was me showing the world that I could do it without Dre. 50 was saying he was writing all my raps, which was crazy to me because like there, here comes another, you know, album that went five times platinum and nigga didn't write nothing. I didn't have no Dre beats. Um, and so, yeah, man, that album is the one that meant a lot to me. So again, going, you know, doubling back on the Kobe thing, when he told me that that was the album that he fucked with the most out of, you know, the two that I had at the time, mm -hmm. it meant a lot to me because I know what I put into mm -hmm. it. I know what I sacrificed mm -hmm. and I know how hard it was to get it to see the light of day. Over the years, Game has compared the documentary and the doctor's advocate and has admitted he didn't like the documentary because there were too many chefs in the kitchen while he was able to maintain complete control over the doctor's advocate. And it is his most West Coast album. And at the same time, it feels like it encompasses him the most. I, I ain't like the documentary to me. Really? It was, yeah, cause niggas, too many niggas had a hand in it. And even though I don't, I'm not it like, almost like it's like it put together by committee. It got, yeah, it, I was allowed to rap mm -hmm. um, and niggas had a hand. After my, I did my verse, everybody mm -hmm. start, right. you know, putting their hands in and it had moving pieces. But this was before I understood a team of niggas right. needed to do it. That is my favorite album because that's the type of album like this one. Mm -hmm. Doctor's Advocate is the only album aside from the documentary two where I had 100% creative control. And you understand that when I have 100% creative control that I'm gonna make the best album possible. The Doctor's Advocate, no 50 involvement, no Dre involvement was wrote, wrote by Game. And that's one of my most prominent albums to this day. A lot of, when you're a real hip hop fan and you understand hip hop and you know hip hop music, Everybody that I talk to, from you to Sway to Rockwell, people that really listen and break down lyrics and beats and albums, like from a classic standpoint, will tell you that Doctor, the Doctor's Advocate was the game's best album. 
The album was clearly a way for Game to prove to himself and the world that he was capable of standing on his own without 50 Cent or Dr. Dre, but it was clear they helped give him the formula in order for him to be able to make that album on his own. Game had his back against the wall and he fought his way out, but those feelings deep down inside of being abandoned still are there, even though they are dormant and they came out in various songs, interviews, and even as much as last year when he was promoting Drillmatic. You could tell that he still held on to those emotions so y'all let me know what y'all think about this man do you think this is game's best album to date put your thoughts down in the comments and make sure you like and subscribe and stay connected with panda chop news peace and on the curb you always and um i don't know i guess the last thing i'll say is there is life after the math